in this video, we'll be trying out several headers and containers that we have learned in the previous lecture. Before we begin, we will need to install one specific plugin. As WordPress does some sort of conversion on the page codes before displaying them, what we coded might not be exactly what should be happening in a normal HTML page. We can certainly still code with HTML without the plugin, but we will want to avoid any confusion here. Now let's look for this raw HTML plugin, install and activate it. See this plugin here? Install this plugin and activate it. After the plugin has been installed and activated, go to any one of your blog posts, edit the post, and you should see um, this section here. Check every boxes here to remove all WordPress conversion of the HTML code that we will be using. Click update. Okay, now we are ready. Let me first show you the difference in each type of containers. Click on the text tab here and we can begin. Now in this tab, you can use HTML codes now. Let's try the span tag first. View the post. As you can see, all the tags are now in one continuous line. If you go on to inspect the element, they look like this now. As you can see, even though they are on different lines in the HTML code, they appear in the same line for the display. Now, if I hover over the span text, you can see how the HTML element is structured with the highlighted blue. This is how the span is working now. Okay, let's go back and try other containers. Let's try changing them to div element. Here, the content between different containers are now appearing in different rows. Finally, let's go back and try the paragraph containers. The content between different paragraphs has some spacing from each other. Hopefully by now, you can see the difference in each of these three containers. These three containers are what you'll be frequently using to build many websites. 